Welcome to my channel folks. Today we are going to see what is Amazon Cloud Trail. Amazon Cloud Trail is a service that enables you to do compliance to either internal standards or third party regulatory authority standards or it helps you to comply with the governance policies set by your organization. It also helps you to achieve an operational auditing or even a risk auditing. How does it all work? When we set up an Amazon Cloud Trail, what happens is it starts monitoring all the APA activity that is happening in your account, either from your console or your AWS CLI or even your SDKs. All this activity is logged into your S3 bucket and from there you can process it using a CloudWatch events or any third party log management systems. So let us see what other people are usually using it for. One of the common use cases is a compliance aid where a audit agency or a third party regulatory authority is looking for a certain amount of log information. Then you can go to your S3 bucket where the encrypted logs are stored and then you decrypt them and retrieve the logs and provide your auditor with all that information and the logs are reviewed for any unauthorized access and the compliance activity is successfully completed. So that is one way people use it for cl use cloud trail. The other use case is for security analysis. Say for example, you have all the logs stored in your S3 bucket and you want to find any malicious user activity or any unauthorized activity happening. So you can feed all the logs from your S3 bucket and then send it to a third party log management system and then find out any anomalous behavior and cre create an event or a threat analysis from that point onwards. So that is another thing people use it for. The next one is data exfiltration. That is if you want to identify if somebody is copying some data from your S3 bucket or if you are suspicious that some event might have be happening in your data management platform, then what you can do is you can pick up the API uh, events from your cloud trail and then you can feed it to your Lambda and then the Lambda can identify whether it is an authorized access or an unusual activity is happening and then it can run some uh, preventive or corrective actions depending upon the preset rules that has been configured. So that way you can identify any data exfiltration is happening in your CloudTrail account. The last use case is operational issues. Let us say there is an AWS resource change that has happened. Say somebody has modified something and uh, you are not sure what exactly caused the issue. Then the best thing that you can do is go through your API activity history in the cloud trail events and try to find out what was the cause of the problem and then quickly resolve the issues so that the outage or the service downtime that is caused by the change is not prolonged. So that way, CloudTrail increases your operational issue troubleshooting time. So let us go ahead to our demo, uh, console and see how to set up CloudTrail in your account. I am in my CloudTrail dashboard and the first thing that we are going to do is click on create trail and then give a suitable name for it. Let us say I'm going to call this as catch all trail because I'm going to enable it for all the regions. So I'm going to call it as catch all trail and I'm going to call all the events or in other words, I'm going to record all the events instead of just read only or write only. And the next step is, it is asking whether I want to capture any particular events related to S3 or Lambda. Let us not go to fine grain detail at this moment and capture everything that we need here. And where do I want to store these logs? So in this case, I'm going to choose an existing bucket. If you want, you can go ahead and create a new bucket. That should not make any difference in the way CloudTrail is operating or capturing the logs. So I'm just going to say click no, and then I'm going to choose an existing bucket I have set up for this purpose, and I've called this log trails or logs output. There are two buckets that I've set up. One is a log output and trail logs. So in this case, I'm going to use the trail logs one. And the next step is whether you want to add any prefix for the logs. So I'm going to, in this case, I'm going to call it as cloud trail logs. So every log that is generated by my uh, trail will be having this prefix and put under the subdirectory. Do I want to encrypt it? Yes, I can go ahead and say, use my default encryption keys or I don't want to encrypt it and I, I can click no here. So depending upon your company's policies, you can choose encryption or not. And if you want to enable versioning, you can go ahead and say enable log validation as well. 
so depending upon that situation you choose it and finally do you want any modifications to be sent or any notifications to be sent to your email address or any uh, sns topic that you have set up then choose here yes and then give your sns topic uh, yeah or a number here so for a simple scenario this should be suffice let's go ahead and click on create now you can see there my trail has been set up and my s3 bucket is also ready so after some time if you go and log into your s3 bucket especially the one that you are configured here you should be able to see the api events there let me go over to my s3 bucket now now i've just logged into my s3 bucket and then navigated to the lo location where my cloud trail logs are stored and we will be able to see some of the logs that was generated in the previous uh, couple of days that when i was using cloud trail i'm going to head over to virginia that is us west one or us east one so that we can see some activity there so it stores under the uh, year and then the month and then the date let me see the latest one and there you go that is how all the logs are stored and you can retrieve them and read them um, manually or feed it to a log management system and process them automatically so that is how you use cloud trail in your account to monitor it for security or compliance or governance activities thanks for watching happy learning